So Chow, uh, two two draw today with Bromley after an hour you must have been pulling your hair out, but uh, a frantic five minute spell rescued a point for us in the end. Are you happy with that? Yeah, of course, from from the situation you find yourself in, um just after all time to be to be two nil down. Um we were good. Um and the most disappointing thing was that we didn't play with we didn't play with any tempo or urgency or we didn't look like a team that really wanted to wanted to win. We looked like we were we were sort of waiting for something to happen. Um, and then you obviously make make changes and put a a little bit of youthful exuberance. I think they just again just played with a Tugs and, and, and Johnny had gone on and, and played with a freedom and, and, and given us a spark. And sometimes you're looking for that. And like I say, we had a we've had a five minute spell where we we scored scored a couple and probably could have scored another couple um, and then I suppose it's a it's a hard one as to whether 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 you whether you, you go on and win it or, um, and whether you have the momentum and you, you're looking to go and win the game I suppose still with in the back of your mind you don't want to concede and that momentum be changed so from the position we're in like I said we'll, we'll, we'll take a point we weren't great but setting off we, we showed a bit more a bit more about us and like I say I, I said to them at half time I hate losing um, but I can accept it if if people have gone out and, and we, we've gone gone down with a fight, if you like, and people have worked the socks off. And I, I didn't think we did that first half. We totally didn't play at a high enough high enough tempo, and again, that resulted in us being in a um, like I say, a difficult situation that thankfully we got out of. In the early stage, we seemed to struggle with the pace of some of Bromley's forward, in particular uh, Luke Wanadio. How did you combat that uh, in the second half? Oh, you'd always have to deal with things, isn't it? especially in fullback areas. Um, obviously, Berkey's Berkey's come in, and um, he'll learn learn more over the time he's here in terms of um, questions asked defensively than he will play in 23s football at Wigan. Um, Zane, uh, it's done well to get through 90 minutes. To be honest, um, I'm looking at the game thinking. He's not fit. He's not overly fit. I can understand that when you've come off with a with, with, a, with a slight hamstring that you are a little bit tentative. Um, because I'd back him one v one v anyone, um, anyone in this league and, and anyone in the in the league above. Like I said, that's his, his, his big strength. Is his is his one one v one defending. Um, but you, you you have to do that. You have to deal with things. And ultimately, on the flip side of it, they had to do the same thing. We've brought some, some like I say, some pace on. Um, Tugs has got his goal, which is is great. Johnny's caused um, problems down down this side, um, which is resulting now into having to make a change to bring someone on with some more pace to try and try and counteract and try and deal with it. As you said, uh, Johnny Smith and Tat Tatsima coming on uh, after half time really seemed to re energise us, and uh, Taz's goal obviously uh, put you back to 2 1. Are they now looking to take the claim for more game time in the future? No, they're, they're an integral part of our squad, and they they, 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 they always have been. Um, Again, circumstances dictate that people are injured. James is out injured, Blinks are suspended. People get opportunities where we're behind the eight ball a little bit, we're two 0 down. And you, you, as, a, as a manager, you're looking to, I suppose, your, your substitutions to make an impact in the game. Um, and they did that, but ultimately goals, goals change, change games. And the first goal gave us a gave us a lift. We've gone on and got the second goal. Like I say, I'm a, I'm a disappointed we didn't get the third slightly, but from the position we're in. To, to say I'm not happy with um, a draw from where we all would be, would be daft. Uh, next uh, week, see us play two away games starting with Macclesfield on Tuesday night. What kind of a, a challenge are you expecting from them? Tough one. Again, like like any any game in this division, um, team that will uh, again will try and play so a different a different challenge. But we've got a we've got a worry about us. Um, and first and foremost, um, make sure that we're right in terms of our. Our work ethic, the tempo we play at uh, today. Can we can we play better? Absolutely. Um, can we make better decisions? Definitely. Can technically we be, be better than what we were? Yes. Um, but that first half, what I say, wasn't wasn't us. Um, and, and we know that we can't drop our levels in terms of if we're going to get anything out of any games. Um, so that'll be our that'll be our, our, our go-to if you like. We're going to we're going to work our socks off. Whatever we get, um, like I say, if we, if we if we deserve to win, don't deserve to win. As long as we get get points and, and keep picking them up, I'll be I'll be happy. Thanks, Joe. Cheers.